Howdy folks, Hulk Rex here. I'm just showing you off a little bit of work I've done today. You know, I said in one of my previous videos I had a project come in and uh, this is it. Um, actually a little bit more over here. No, oh, you nope, can't see that. We'll get it in there in a second. Um, what we have here is some more 15 mil uh, buildings, which are the... Uh, um, these are the medieval slash, I don't know, they can be pretty recent here. They're still thatch, uh, roofed buildings still being, or have been built or just continually having their thatch replaced. But, uh, I guess this could be used anything up to, uh, World War II for that matter. Um, what we have here is... Two of these, two of these, two of these, and one of these. And uh, I don't know if you can see it very well, but you know, you'd, you'd have like these are like barns, some type of uh, storage building that has a thatch roof. You know, it's open to the air in the top, and you just have some type of uh, blanket or cloth or something going across the door. And uh, it's been whitewashed, but it's faded away here and there. And here's the second one. It's kind of similar, a little bit more weathering on top of it. So it's a little bit, there's a slight changes in it. You can see this has a little bit more weathered um, look to the uh, thatching. So it's a little bit older. It's been sitting up there. Because when you look at thatch, it's, as long as it's been up there... When it's fresh, it's a nice brown kind of color, and when it gets older, it starts turning gray and dingy and starts moldy, and you know, eventually you're going to have to change it. Uh, here's another barn. It's got a little bit of plaster uh, on the side here. Like, you'd have, uh, what do they call it, wattle or something like that, where you have the uh, poles coming down, and you weave your... Uh, uh, sticks in between and you put mud on it and you got the open here and you can see it's weathered so and it's kind of a nice little look to it and this one's kind of similar a little more newer whitewash on it, it hasn't uh, worn away in all the spots you can see it's starting to fade as the weather's taking its toll on it but just a little bit more clean up on this one. Yep, I gotta do some down here. Just notice it underneath. Gotta clean that up. And then, uh, this barn here, you can see they kind of replaced some of the newer. A few replacement here is starting to fade here and there. Some of the wood's been replaced, or it's just fading not as fast as the other. When wood's exposed to the elements, it turns gray eventually and you can see it progressively stuff is changing on it to a more gray look and then this one is more of a brown this could have been a stained they put something like an oil or something on it to keep it uh, from uh, the elements getting to it and just whatever or it might be slightly newer newer built so it hasn't uh, turned gray yet and then you got your basic uh, just one big giant roofed barn and it's been whitewashed here and on both sides you can see where the whitewash is uh, coming loose slowly fading off all right let's move these guys out of the way for a second and we got some more Napoleonics coming in here I just started working on these guys it's going to be the whitewash. It's going to be similar to um, the other one, the Napoleonics I did. But these are um, all plaster. They're not the resin. So these are pretty heavy. If you drop these, it'd shatter. And this one already has a crack in it from something else. So it's been repaired. So that's going to be a little bit of work there. So I just got all the... Uh, Got to do some of the weathering on the uh, the green, and I guess still got to do the roof. So I got the base colors down on this one here, and then this one here is like the manor house. 
This other one was like a small little uh, cottage house. And uh, this one here is more of a manor house. You can see where I'm doing the, uh, got a little bit of dry brushing to go in here to bring that out like if it's wood or maybe uh, like a um, limestone work right there that hasn't been painted over. And this has got the plaster that's coming off. So wherever that here is, I have to uh, go through it and I'm going to do some dry brushing on it to bring it edging out. And I got to brush out all this brickwork here and then finish the roof. And then I got to go in and flock everything along, do some work on that. I probably will get some actual, the heavy duty green, dark green flock and just flock that. Make it look more like a hedge. And then it's got the uh, thatch roof over here, which I have to work on. So that's the current project that I've been working on today and uh, taking a little break from some other stuff and that is that and then I have a couple other big pieces sitting here which is a medieval uh, not really it's more of a fort ancient fort and what else oh, I got some uh, like Civil War miniatures I have to paint up too they're 15 mil and now those are 28s. Those are 28s. So, well, let's let you know what's coming in the pipeline. This is Hulk Rex. You guys have a great day.